a little short, but still, still a good birdie chance. <laughs> Hey, Nicole Brock Estrup here. I'm about to play 18 at Elrum Golf Club. Uh, we got a reachable par five today, left to right, downwind. Um, on the par fives, first priority is to hit the fairway. So that's what I'm gonna try to do. So eight years ago, some very special memories, Helsingborg Open with a win, not at this course, but talk to me about that week and how special it was for you. Yeah, well, obviously my first and only win so far in the LET, so yeah, pretty special. Good memories and yeah, as you said, it's, it's a long time ago, eight years and a lot has happened. But yeah, no, it's nice that we get this event back on the map and Obviously for me, it's the closest to home I get to play, so I'll have some family and friends over, which is nice. Just a stone's throw from Denmark, you had a lot of family and friends there to experience the win with you. Yeah, yeah I did. Yeah, it was, it was really cool. Um, there was a lot of people I had at that time. I had a car sponsored by, I think, eight guys from my hometown when they all came over and watched. And so, yeah, it was just a special day with, yeah, a lot of special people. And this season so far as well, super consistent, made every cut on the LET, 21st on the race, it's a Costa del Sol at the moment. What have you set yourself goal-wise for the rest of the season? Yeah, that's a funny talk. Um, I actually just had a talk to my mental coach yesterday about kind of turning down my goals and ambitions a little bit because um, the last couple of weeks, like I had a really good start. Um, I had some good weeks in a row in the first straights. Then we, after the break, I definitely came out with a little bit more pressure on myself. Like, um, I I want to get that win this year, um, but yeah, it I have to go I have to go back to the small steps again to try and take me to the win at some point. But yeah, for now it's it's the small steps again. Is there anything in particular that you've been working on? I mean, the mental part is everything for me. I mean, a lot has happened in, in those eight years since I last won over here. I mean, I remember that week was probably the easiest week golf has ever felt to me. Um, and at the moment, it's, it's, I mean, it's getting better, but it's, it's been a struggle the last two years. I'm not going to lie about that. Great drive, Nicole. In the middle of the fairway. Good look into the par five second shot. Talk us through what you're thinking now. Yeah, I mean, I mean, there's wind, well, water to the right and, and the wind is left to right, but I've got one, eight, six meters. Uh, it's firm greens, but I think, yeah, I can get this one pretty close if I hit a decent shot. i um, going to try and pitch it around probably 170-ish. So I'm going to go with a five iron and then let it drift a little bit. So you're approaching the shot different with the wind as well? Do you, do you try and yeah, swing smoothly? Yeah, I'm definitely smoothly? Gonna, just going to try and play it with the wind, pitch it, lift of it and let it roll and feed up there. Um, okay, great. Let's see it. Slightly too much draw, but still up and down for breeding. What's your favourite club in the bag? I used to be really good off the tee and love to hit driver and I still like you know when you hit a good drive it's it's nice um at the moment I'm struggling a bit off the tee but I would like to I would like to say driver is my favorite club in the back on weeks like this it does look like it's going to be quite windy does does that change your kind of not approach to the game but like some of your swing thoughts it's more I think the mentality of staying patient and that you probably don't have to shoot super low scores to be up there in contention, um, especially yeah, with the wind and the course being as firm as it is. Um, and the greens are quite tricky, so I mean, hopefully the wind is not going to be as bad as it is today, but I don't think it's going to be a super low winning score. And now it was eight years ago when you won, but this is the first time since the Helsingborg Open is back. Mm -hmm. So you're defending this week as well. <laughs> what would it mean to you to defend your title? 
Yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, I mean, on the paper I'm defending, but I don't know if you can say that eight years ago. But no, I mean, it, obviously I'm looking for that second LAT win. But as I mentioned earlier, that's that's just not where I'm at right now mentally. Um, I mean, I would love to say that, but I mean, I also have to be honest with myself that right now a win is not what's the most important thing for me. Um, it's, I mean, I would, as I said, I would love it, but if it comes, it comes, but there's, there's some smaller, smaller things that needs to be done before. Have you got friends and family coming along this week? Yeah, there'll be family and friends over. My little brother is coming over to caddy for me, which will be good fun. Um, he's caddy for me a couple of times, just back home in some, uh, some club events. Um, but yeah, I know that'll be, that'll be good fun. And he, uh, he plays as well? Yeah, he's played for a couple of years. Probably he started just before COVID. Um, but he's, he's solid. I mean, we played nine holes Monday night um, at our home club. And I mean, I was two behind after three holes. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so left myself just left of the green. I mean, not too bad of a shot. Just didn't got pushed enough by the wind. Um, so yeah, I mean, pretty Pretty easy chip, I would say. A lot of green to work with, pretty flat. Which club are you going with? I'm gonna go with my uh, 50 degree. So I'm gonna fly it, I don't know, maybe like five, seven yards onto the green and let it roll from there. And then, uh, yeah, try and knock it close. A little short, but still, still a good birdie chance. <laughs> okay, so we got around eight feet, nine feet left. Slightly left to right, slightly downhill at the end. Probably just like a ball outside to the left. Have to go to the par, saving the birdies for the next three days. <laughs> 